Hi, I'm Michael Cogdill, and you're watching Retire Ready Today with True North Advisors. And today we're talking about the three retirement tax traps that could needlessly wipe out your hard-earned savings. With us is Matt Dixon. He is the founder of True North Advisors with locations right here in the Carolinas. Matt is a fiduciary retirement advisor, a retired registered financial consultant, and he is a member of the Forbes Finance Council. Matt, thank you again for being with us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me again here, Michael. Let's talk to our viewers about that second retirement trap. Yeah, absolutely, Michael. Real important part of getting a good plan put together is making sure we understand the second tax trap is something most people aren't even aware of to begin with. And that's the reality of having to pay taxes on your Social Security income. Because the truth of the matter is many retirees end up paying taxes on as much as 85% of their benefits. If you're expecting a check that's one size and what you actually get is something much smaller, well, your retirement could look a lot different than you might be imagining. And here's the thing, you've been paying into the Social Security Trust Fund ever since your first paycheck as a kid. Between you and your employer, you've contributed as much as 12.4% of your earnings for decades. So you've essentially given an interest-free loan to the government. But when it comes to finally getting your money back, Uncle Sam wants to take a big chunk of it in the form of taxes. Man, I'm sure most people don't even realize this. Uh, are all Social Security benefits taxed the same? So unfortunately, a lot of people aren't realizing that it's really truly based entirely on your annual taxable income. So you could end up paying taxes on as much as 50% to 85% of your Social Security benefits. But if you're like most retirees, these benefits are the foundation of your retirement income. So Michael, most people don't realize this, but if you've made an average income throughout your career, your social security benefits could add up to hundreds of thousands of dollars. And if you've made an above average income, your social security benefits could be worth as much as a million dollars or more over your lifetime. But if you have to pay taxes on 85% of your benefits check, that income could be a fraction of what you were counting on. And let's talk about the timing, Matt. Does when you claim the benefits affect how much tax you might owe? In some cases, Michael, it has a lot to do with it. So timing is important. And if you're not careful with how and when you claim your benefits, you could trigger something known as the tax torpedo. Let me explain. The tax torpedo happens when all of the income from your IRA, 401k, Social Security benefits, and other investments are all added up. And if you're pushed into a higher tax bracket, forcing you to pay higher marginal and even capital gain taxes, worst case even, paying a higher Medicare premium possibly. Let's talk about the COLA, the good old cost of living adjustment. Matt, does that have any impact on any of this? especially in the recent years here, Michael, it's definitely going to have something to do with paying additional taxes because the cost of living increases are important because they help benefits keep pace with inflation. For the past couple of years, inflation has done nothing but go up and everyday expenses have obviously been following. I'm sure you felt it. That big 8.7% cost of living increase that went through during the height of inflation recently helped a lot of retirees feel a sense of relief because now they have more Social Security income coming in. But it's not all good news. This cost of living adjustment was the largest in decades. And what did that do? We saw it push many fixed income retirees into a much higher tax bracket. And many retirees found themselves having to pay taxes on their benefits for the first time ever. That was not good news. When something like this happens, the final amount you get to keep and spend on your actual cost of living is suddenly a lot smaller than it was before. Well, Matt, let's talk about the actual paying of these taxes. Does the IRS take the tax out for you? Oh, absolutely not. That would be too simple for the everyday <laughs> retiree, yeah. wouldn't it? So that's another gotcha, you could say. Don't assume your taxes will automatically be deducted from your benefits just because you owe them. You'll have to file quarterly estimated taxes 
or ask Social Security Administration to withhold the taxes from your checks. And you definitely don't want to miss your payments. And here's something else you should know about this. A lot of people think that they can just turn to the Social Security Administration to get some personalized help for getting the most out of their benefits, but that won't be the case. The staff at the Social Security Administration is not trained to give you financial advice especially when it comes to taxes on your benefits. Forbes featured an article that said the agency has some 40,000 undertrained, overwhelmed, and sometimes arrogant staffers who routinely tell people things that are dead wrong, half wrong, misleading, or even incomplete. As a result, thousands of people are making terrible wrong decisions daily when they're claiming their Social Security retirement benefits. And these decisions that are costing them huge sums of money. So this responsibility is really 100% on your shoulders. That's why we're glad you're here. And many of you may be wondering about these. Are these taxes on Social Security benefits avoidable at all? Well, in some cases, Michael, what we usually like to show a lot of people is how we can potentially eliminate taxes on your benefits altogether. But you have to get in front of it and create your strategy before you file for Social Security. So Matt, how could our viewers out there uh, reduce or eliminate these taxes on their benefits? Is there a way? There's definitely a way. And really, there are some simple strategies here, Michael, that we could use uh, that could help reduce or eliminate these taxes altogether. So you get to keep more of your Social Security income in your pocket. But you can only take advantage of these strategies if you have not filed for Social Security yet. We can show you how you could reduce or eliminate paying taxes on your benefits with a free customized Social Security analysis. Matt, how's it work? Well, it's a real great question because it's pretty simple to, to actually use there, Michael. This analysis shows you the strategies that could help you save a fortune in taxes on your benefits exactly when to file for Social Security to optimize your income, plus if you're eligible for other benefits that could add up to thousands of dollars every year. You get a complete and personalized plan that could help you maximize every dollar of benefits you're eligible for. This is not a one-size-fits-all strategy, though. This analysis is a customized plan for your specific situation. We typically reserve this for paying clients, but you can schedule your free customized analysis with us today, even if you're not a client yet. Matt, so much great information. So very helpful there. So do you want to get the most out of your Social Security benefits? Then schedule your free Social Security analysis from True North Advisors right here in the Carolinas.